So, like always, I want to uh, thank you guys for coming and covering Penn State football. I uh, really appreciate you guys doing that. Um, you know, we talk about the important, I'm sorry, guys. We talk about the important uh, statistics that we talk about all the time, and we didn't do a good job with any of them. Uh, we didn't win the field position battle. We did not win the turnover battle. Did not win the penalty battle. Um, and did not win the explosive play battle. You know, obviously losing Cliff, P.J. Lovett, Ford, and Sutherland uh, was significant in the game, uh, but it's a next man up mentality, and we weren't we weren't ready for that. You know, on the road, um, and we did not do a good job of that. that. That starts with me. I didn't have the guys ready for that. So, um, overall, I thought our defense. Are you guys going to close it or open it? Thank you. Um, overall, I thought our defense played their hearts out. Um, their punter could have been the MVP of the game, uh, pinning us deep. Um, obviously, uh, Taquan getting his first real game experience backed up at the one yard line or the two yard line multiple times. Uh, did not did not make it did not make it a uh, obviously an ideal situation for a, for a guy getting his first significant time, uh, but I thought our defense played their hearts out. I thought the one time we were able to go some tempo stuff and he made some plays with his legs, um, we went down and kicked the field goal. I thought that was significant in the game, uh, but we weren't able to 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 do it as as much as we needed to in the second half, and it became just a field position game. Their offense had great field position the entire second half. And our offense did not. So um, to me, that, that's kind of how the game went. So open up the questions. Start with John Sauber, and then we'll go to Pepper uh, Speed. John? James, do you have an update on Sean's status and his status moving forward? No, no, I, I don't at, at this stage. Uh, as you guys know, I don't get into injuries a whole lot. Um, you know, I, do have a, I do have a little bit of a hard time with our players getting hurt. Um, and the fans and uh, the coaches and the staff booing, booing our players. They don't run a tempo offense. Was not part of our plan. Um, obviously, didn't want Cliff, PJ, Lovett, Ford, and Sutherland, guys that play significant football for us, uh, to get injured. But to all the Iowa people out there, that was not part of our plan. It would not be. You don't run a tempo offense. We had some guys get injured. Um, and you know, I just don't know if I necessarily agree. I don't think that's the right thing for college football. Um, booing, booing guys when they get hurt, what, however it looks. If one of those kids would have been significantly hurt, you're booing them. You know, I just, I got a hard time with that, but I got my own issues to deal with. Pat Rinsby, then Andrew Calista. James, is this the kind of game where in the aftermath you kind of rely on the leadership of some of your older players to kind of like count the squad recover? a tough loss I would think to come back from. That all, all losses are, are tough and we got great leadership and we've got a great coaching staff. Uh, one of the things I've learned uh, the, the longer I've been in this is you don't get in that locker room and start making corrections at this time. It's, this is not the time for that. Tell them how much I love them. Uh, we'll get the stuff cleaned up tomorrow. We got a bye week to get some things fixed and hopefully get some guys back from a health perspective. And kind of go from there, but but we we've, we've been in challenging times before. I, I don't necessarily, you know, uh, wouldn't necessarily describe it the way you just did. Coach, hold on one second. You can open it really quick. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Calista, Penn State Football. Coach, obviously. You know, his first start or the first time sitting and playing time, it's a little difficult. What were the positives that you saw from him, you know, taking all the offenses? Yeah, again, like I, like I said, I thought that one drive when we went tempo, I thought, I thought he did a good job making some plays with his legs and spreading the ball around. Um, but besides that, I, I'm going to have to watch the tape to kind of get into it in any more detail than that. Audrey, the Mark Brennan. James, you guys typically haven't had issues with crowd noise on the road, but tonight you did. Anything you can put your point your finger on with that? Or? We didn't have a issue with crowd noise until until we lost Sean. Um, 
you know, we're responsible for all of it. We use the same system with Sean as we, as we did with Taekwon, um, and, it, and it didn't work. And um, obviously it became a significant issue in the, fee, uh, in the game. I, 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 do, I would say um, it's a tough environment. Their entire stadium is standing up uh, and pouring their energy into, into the, uh, the players on the field, and it, and it makes an impact. It makes, a, it makes a significant impact. But same system that we've used, uh, we've never really had an issue with it. And like I said, we did it in the first half with Sean and, and had no issues. But we did have issues in the second half with Taekwon, so we're going to have to look at that. Mark Brennan and then Greg Pickle. James, if I could follow up respectfully, was it a matter of that the old lineman couldn't hear him? Or, OK. And did you not see that in practice? Again, I mean, it's something that I know you guys, we're there and we hear how loud it is. Yeah, obviously, if, if it would have been an issue in practice, we, we would have corrected it. So it, it, it had not been. Um, he's not as loud as Sean, but not to the point where it was a, it was a problem. So we'll, we'll do a deep dive on that, obviously. Greg Pickles and Gabe Angieri. How would you grade your defense tonight, Coach? And which guys, I mean, Jacobs, Brisker, they were kind of all over the field, kept you in this for a quarter. quarter. Yeah, I thought our defense played their hearts out. They were on the field too long. Um, there's no doubt about that. They were on the field too long, but I thought I thought they played their hearts out. I thought we had some opportunities uh, for some big plays, some game-changing type plays. Uh, but overall, I thought we played our hearts out. Gabe Angieri, and then last question will go to Alan Cole. I don't think he got it. Gabe didn't get it? Okay. Then Alan Cole, last question. Uh, you're at the halfway point now going into my How do you kind of assess this team? as a whole now and then what do you kind of look forward to two weeks on that? Kind of the halfway point. Yeah, we, we just we just lost uh, against a really good football team on the road. We got to get some things cleaned up tomorrow. Uh, and then we got the bye week to do it as well and, and kind of go from there. Uh, you know, deep dive perspective on where we're at. I'm not in position to do that right now. Um, just coming off the field. Thank you, Coach.